Hey guys, I'm Bez and welcome to your very first Java Swing tutorial. Now in this series of videos, I would be showing you all the things that you need to know to build complex interactive Java applications. You will start from learning the very basics of Swing like layouts, adding components, different events, to connecting databases to your application and finally you will learn to build your own real-time application directly from scratch. So what are you gonna need for this? Well, first of all, I hope you know a bit of Java, like the concept of classes and objects, you know, multi-threading, inheritance, polymorphism, etc. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So I'd also recommend you to go out there, download it. Now to download Eclipse, you got to go to this link, eclipse.org slash download slash Eclipse packages. I'm also going to be providing this link in the description. So go out there and download the Eclipse for Java developers. Just choose your Windows type, whether 32-bit or 64-bit, and you are good to go. So after you install Eclipse, then things are gonna look kind of like this. So from here, we can start building our applications, but there is a plugin in Eclipse, which will really help us to build applications much more easily and in a much more efficient way. And that plugin is called the window builder and we are just gonna install that plugin right now now to install that plugin just click on help go to install new software and here in the work with combo box select something like this now my version is Mars your version might be something else now depending on that just select it and here you will find a lot of plugins showing now from this list we need to go to the general purpose tools just scroll down till you find yeah we got it from now starting from this swing designer under general purpose tools just click on these check boxes because we are gonna need all of this just continue doing it and that's it now after you are done selecting all of them just click on next so this is the window after this now we finally install them next I accept the terms and finish so this is going to take some time because it's gonna install the new software and after that you would also have to restart Eclipse so I would just let it go on and from the next tutorial onwards you will start to learn Java Swing and you will also be using this window builder plugin a lot in future so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one